welcome to Space Scotland. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever or whenever you're watching this, welcome to a very special location. We are on site of what will be eventually Space Hub Sutherland in the very far north of Scotland. Want to learn more? Then stick around. Before I get into the video, I want to give a shout out to Astro Liz. If you're not following her on YouTube or Twitter, then I recommend you do. Elizabeth is an eight year old and she will be an astronaut one day. Um, she's amazing. She does lots of STEM experiments on YouTube. And if you're thinking, what can I learn from an eight year old? Well, think again. I've learned a few things from watching her videos. Elizabeth, keep being awesome. Now, as we pan the camera around, you'll see there's nothing here yet except beautiful Scottish scenery. So why spoil it with a space hub? I live in the Highlands and it still took two hours to drive here. So why put it so far away from civilization? Let me explain. The location of space hubs are very strategic and you have to think about what you're launching and why. We're not going to be launching humans from here. We're in the wrong part of the world for that. If you think about satellites in space, most of them orbit the Earth going the same direction around the equator and this covers the majority of the Earth's population. But there are other types of orbit, and the one we're interested in here is called a polar orbit. This is where the satellites go up over the North Pole, and they keep going, and eventually they're over the South Pole. And they continue this multiple times a day. With the Earth spinning horizontally below them, satellites in a polar orbit can cover the whole of the planet. This makes it easier for satellites that can monitor conditions such as deforestation, wildfires, melting ice sheets and some communications. So why not launch over Yorkshire or the Lake District? Both are very beautiful areas of the UK and you certainly could but here's why it's not recommended. So regulations say that you can't launch a rocket over a populated area and launch providers also have to think about where it's going to land if something goes wrong once it's launched and before it gets into orbit. Now, I know Russia and China both launch over land, but they've got vast expanses of land that are generally unpopulated or very few settlements. So you could launch from the east coast of England, but if you think about the land area, you would have to launch into the middle of the North Sea and then turn north and then go into polar orbit. So you would need more fuel for the longer journey, you would need a bigger rocket for the extra fuel, extra fuel for the bigger rocket and so on. So it's not very fuel efficient. Now from here, you can launch and go straight north and be over the North Pole in no time. It's just ocean out there and if anything goes wrong, you have the ocean as a safety net. And that's why. Convinced yet? Well, it's happening and soon. This land is soon to start construction works. And if you want to know what it's going to look like, then Highlands and Islands Enterprise have a great virtual tour on their website about what it'll look like. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. Want to help our channel and see more of this beautiful launch site? We've taken some high res photos of the area and put them on our Patreon page for members only. Consider joining us and helping us to continue making videos to inform you all on the space news from Scotland. So let's talk about the rockets that will launch from here. So this will be a commercial space hub and commercial space rockets manufacturers can launch the rockets from here. It won't be a military establishment um, and one of the rocket providers that is already making rockets to launch from here is Orbex and I could talk about Orbex for a long time and I will in a separate video. Um, however, Orbex are another Scottish-based rock company. They're based in forests in the Highlands, uh, not too far from Inverness. And what's special about Orbex is they are 3D printing most, or if not all, the rocket components. And they will be launching their Orbex Prime rocket. And that's 19 metres high, 1.3 metres wide, and it will launch from right here carrying a payload of 180 kilograms which isn't too big but it is big enough for little CubeSat satellites 
or a project that needs a larger 180 kilogram satellite. What do the locals think of all this? That's a fair question and it's one that is asked with every new development from new shopping centres to third runways at large international airports. But look around. Believe it or not, there are people living and working here and some are not happy. I suppose it's very much the not in my backyard principle. It's all very well me supporting this, but I live nearly 80 miles away. An environmental assessment has been done and is available to read online. It says that the noise will last approximately 67 seconds during the launch. Here's where it gets interesting though. The launch license for Space Hub Sutherland allows a maximum of 12 launches per year. So in a year, there'll be just over 13 minutes of noise from rocket launches. Yes, there'll be added industrial noise, more traffic, HGVs delivering rockets and payloads and fuel. I get it, I really do. But the Space Hub will also create between 40 and 60 local jobs with up to 250 jobs in the region. Now, in a large office in, say, Manchester, a small team may have 40 to 60 people in it. But up in here, that's a community. Just quickly going back to Astralis. Elizabeth, I know you and your mission control team want to visit here, and I absolutely recommend it, but I would say not yet. There's nothing here. And I live up here in the Highlands, and it still took me a two hour drive on narrow roads. There's no motorways up here. So wait until it's built, wait until it's operational, and that goes for anyone who wanted to visit. If you're doing the North Coast 500 route anyway, the road literally passes, but wait until it's operational. And who knows, maybe Astro Liz and myself can collaborate and do a live stream from here for a launch. I think that'd be cool. What's next for Space Scotland? I'm a big fan of this project up here, and I've not been asked to film this, so I'm not getting paid. This is just what I like doing. I'm just a space nerd who likes NASA and SpaceX and ULA and all the others. I definitely want to come back here and document its construction and operations. And I want to speak to other companies such as Orbex and Skyroda. And I've not even begun to talk about Spaceport Saxavord in Shetland. So there we have it. Space Hub Sutherland will be here and it will be launching Orbex Prime and other rockets into a polar orbit hopefully as soon as 2022. And if you can hit the like, subscribe and notification bell to follow up on my future videos, it would really help build the channel. Thank you for watching.